All right, guys, welcome back to another Oppo Omnia video where we are going to talk about Vanille's LD weapon and the small rework that she got. Also, I do want to talk about the defense down that she puts on the enemies because it kind of got a bit of a boost, but a lot of people are slightly upset in quotations because of the fact that it didn't get changed into a frame debuff which would have helped her out tremendously and would have been a perfect uh call to be used in battle but uh we'll get into that here in just a bit because uh, they are somewhat comparing her to another character uh that also has a frame debuff so as always if you do enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button subscribe for future content, let's jump into it. Let's let's talk about Vanille's uh, rework. So her skill, the deep protect skill that she has from a crystal level 55 awakening, which is deep protect extend. Uh, whenever you use set ability, it increases the total brave hits to four. Now uh, it did get an increase in brave potency, and it now deals 50% HP damage, splash damage to non-targets, uh, which is nice. It, you know, it, like I said, it's something small. It's not anything major, but it's small, and then I guess. I guess in this case, is it enough? I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, her crystal level 60 awakening, which is the D spell extension uh, or extend, excuse me. Uh, whenever you are using her D spell ability, the total brave hits were increased to five. Uh, increase in brave potency. It removes an additional. Or it, it removes two additional buffs from all enemies now, up to eight, and that is a good thing as well. Uh, because if you don't know, in the Japanese side right now, the enemies can buff themselves and can also receive uh, debuffs up to a max of eight now instead of six. Uh, and then it triggers an AoE HP attack after usage, and it now deals full HP damage to all targets, which is nice. And then it recovers Brave to self based on 20% of the HP damage dealt. Now her LD ability, which is called the Force Blasters, it recovers Brave to the party based on 50% of her of the uh, own max Brave. It is a 10 hit AOE magic Brave plus AOE HP attack that deals full HP damage. When going up against single target, we already know, Brave damage uh, gets increased by 60%, which is, I don't believe has not changed uh, from, uh, from the past couple characters that had received uh, weapons, uh, reworks, etc, etc. 180% uh, overflow. It recovers Brave to self based on 20% of the total HP damage dealt that she does, and it grants her <clears throat> the exploitation uh, buff to herself for 8 actions. Now, set buff, what it does, and it is a party, it's basically like an aura for the party. Um, when against debuff targets, 20% Brave damage dealt up and 10% HP damage delta. When going up against non-buff targets, you get a 20% brave damage delta and a 10% HP damage delta, and then you also get a 20% stolen and recovered brave max brave overflow limit increase. Now, with that buff, it's actually not that bad of a buff. Uh, even being used as an LD call, which we'll get to here in just a second, even because it is the, the percentages were reduced uh, whenever you use it as an LD call, which I don't understand why, but okay, sure, we'll go with it. But with with these uh, with all of basically what what the package that you get from this one buff it's uh, you know it will help out uh, when trying to go up against like brave reduction and all that other crap you know having an extra 20 percent uh, hp damage del uh delta uh is nice and then of course that brave damage delta will also help out uh in terms of uh dealing brave damage uh, which is which is not not that bad, but her LD call I, I feel like it gets hurt a little bit, it gets slashed in half pretty much, which is I, which in my opinion is kind of dumb. But I, I guess they have the reasons why they probably thought that it was going to be overpowered and probably be a most used LD call. Which I mean I don't blame them uh, because uh, <laughs> I, I don't know I don't know what the, I don't know how. Uh, how they go about doing these things. But anyways, uh, so her LD call is basically the same thing, except the only difference between um, her call effects and then her actual uh, 
uh, effects from the buff if you do have her on the field instead of being used as an LD call. Uh, 10% instead of the 20% brave damage dealt up and then 5% on the HP damage dealt up instead of the 10%, which is, you know, again, I don't get it. But yet the 20% the stolen and recovered brave overflow limit is still the same. So I, I, I don't understand why they, dec they decided to do that, but I mean... Sure, we'll go with it. I mean, I, I maybe maybe that was wrong. Maybe they might change it later on, but I highly doubt it. Uh, but anyways, though, uh, aside from that, though, one of the other things that I mentioned at the beginning of this video was the debuff, the defense down debuff that she that she implements. So, at the beginning of the fight, um, the enemies receive if you have her on the field, the enemies receive a debuff that is a one hundred percent defense down debuff now the only thing is that it is not a frame debuff if you were to compare it to shantoro's um ld frame debuff which also includes paralysis um that's why a lot of people were saying that they felt like it would have benefited vanille a, a whole lot more if her debuffs would have been framed but for myself the way that i look at it is a lot of these bosses nowadays, they do tend to cleanse. We do have to put up with, with we have to put up with the cleansing and and everything like that. Um, so of course with that, we have to make sure that our timing, whenever we use uh debuffs like that or LD calls, we have to make sure that it is used correctly so that that way we could take advantage of those uh debuffs that we have put on them. Now. If you pick up her high armor and you bring her into the into whatever team comps that that you have built, uh, you actually get an extra 20% defense down, and that stacks with that 100% defense down debuff that you have implemented whenever you use a skill one. So you get a 120% defense down, which is a not which is I believe the highest defense down uh, debuff that we have right now in the game, at least on the JP side. So it's it's not a bad option because I mean you do have multiple uses. If anything, if you do bring Vanille um, into your team comps, now if you bring her into a if you use her as a call, if you use a regular call ability, um, you actually get an 80% defense down on it, which uh, it's it's kind of a bummer. I believe you do also get that extra 20% if you do have her high armor. So it would be a 100% defense down, which, you know, it's nice. It's nice to have. Um, it would also be good as well if you were to stack that with Shantoro's uh, frame debuff from her LD ability and then you put you slap on vanilles afterwards could actually benefit you as well but you know that of course depends on you know the fight and everything like that etc etc so that's why a lot of people are kind of like uh you know like sh should i should i pull should i not pull i mean it, it does sound good on paper that 120 percent defense down which again i believe it is the highest defense down right now in the game uh would have been a bigger bigger plus if it was a framed debuff but um you know it you know you you can have it all i think uh i think overall though i think the reason why they decided to do that was probably because they were looking at it uh from a a standpoint of if you were to bring vanille in the team then there would be really no point of doing it but it, it still would have been nice to have so uh overall though f after actually like reading and talking to uh ren from the city of db on on the defense down debuff and then uh what she got going on it's not bad um it's not bad being used as an LD call, even though I do wish the percentages were the actual percentages whenever you use her uh, in uh, in team comps, whenever she's in a team uh, comp, and, you know, so on and so forth. So, but, but overall, it's not a bad pickup. Uh, I am considering continue to try to chase for her LD. At the same time, the only reason, the only thing that's holding me back from doing so is uh, Garnett. Because Garnett, with the whole intertwined 
Will's event that is coming up later this week. That's kind, that's kind of what's holding me back right now because I want to see exactly what Garnett does with her with her LD weapon and then whatever else she is going to be bringing to uh, to JP default. So uh, other than that, though, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you feel about Vanille. If you guys think that it's going to be worth pulling for uh, to my global players, to my to my global players or my global viewers, uh, let me know if if Vanille's uh, LD weapon is going to be a weapon that you may consider pulling for whenever it arrives to global Opera omnia so other than that though guys that's going to be it for the video make sure to hit that like button subscribe for future content thank you so much for watching and i will catch y'all in my next video